iPhone camera hacks you gotta try part number four you ready let's go all right now the first hack we're going to talk about is using a variable ND filter now you don't have to use a variable you can use a regular ND filter but the purpose of an ND filter is to put sunglasses on your camera lens so the shutter becomes longer now this is the goal this is what we want to do we're going to get some sweet light streaks so what you're going to do is just find your frame after that, put your camera on a tripod. This will not work if it's not on a tripod. Enable night mode on the iPhone, double click to lock in the focus, and let it do its thing. Now do not move the camera, leave it on a tripod, and it will capture some really awesome light streaks. This is a very new and awesome feature that they just came out with. And you can also take a bunch of them and put them together in post to make a sweet time lapse, or you could just use a single photo. It is up to you. Now this is the time lapse, and this is a single photo. Beautiful. All right, now the second one, uh, you're gonna go to settings, and you're gonna scroll all the way up to camera. After you click camera, you're gonna go to formats, and then once you're in formats, you're gonna go all the way down to the bottom to, uh, to Apple ProRes. You're gonna toggle it on, and this is the difference between photos. That is before, and that is after. Beautiful, love shooting in RAW. All right, now the third hack is to light paint. So what you're gonna do is get in a really dark room. Yes, a really dark room. You're gonna put whatever it is that you wanna shoot. Uh, you're gonna frame it up in the dark room and you're gonna have a really small light. Make sure night mode is enabled. Um, you're gonna need at least 10 seconds and you're gonna wave around the little light that you have around the bottle however you want. And the iPhone is gonna capture the light streaks. Now it does take a minute, you gotta be a little patient, but it is worth it in the end. Check out this photo. Beautiful. All right, now the final hack is to take a really awesome wide angle vertical photo. Now, as you can see, we uh, we lined up this photo and it's just, not, it's just not working the way we want. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it all the way over to pano and then you're gonna rotate the camera horizontally and then you're gonna perform the pano mode horizontally. Now, like with all the photos that we've taken today, it does take a minute, but it is worth it in the end. Check out this photo. Beautiful. Now look at this side by side. What a difference. All right, and that is all I got for today's video. I had an absolute blast filming all of these. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to throw them in the comment section down below. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure to like, subscribe. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Peace.